So who am I speaking with? Hi, my name is Tom Casey. I'm a sales engineer, uh, Unified Communications with Netscout. And uh, I was very impressed. You guys were a finalist for Best of Interop, and what was it that you were a finalist for? Well, that's right. Uh, Netscout very recently acquired a, a very small company called Cytechnics, uh, specializing in voice and video performance management. Um, and that helps complete their service delivery management platform. So uh, tying together application performance, uh, monitoring of availability and performance of other uh, tr uh, typical uh, common applications for enterprise and managed service providers, they've now completed that picture to include uh, monitoring of voice over IP and video over IP. Okay, so show me what what, uh, what got you to be a finalist or nominated for Best of Interop. Okay, so this is called the Ingenious uh, Voice and Video Manager. Um, it allows us to monitor in real time, uh, passively monitoring, the real voice and video uh, performance for things like uh, video conferencing, teleconferencing, um, and other uh, collaboration tools. This includes uh, soft clients like Microsoft Link, uh, IBM SameTime, uh, as well as uh, video uh, Cisco telepresence, other flavors of telepresence, Tamburg, Polycom, and so what we are, we're able to do is filter through uh, real-time traffic to see specific slices of collaboration tools. And in this case, I can look at, for example, all of my, uh, the performance of all of my conference calls and identify by looking at key, uh, key performance indicators like voice level, a uh, signal to noise ratio, I can see, ap I can identify application level uh, performance problems and distinguish those from network layer or transport layer performance problems like packet loss and jitter. Uh, this is quite unique in the marketplace. Uh, traditional approaches to voice and to video have primarily focused on IP quas, and that's not to say that isn't important, uh, but it's only a piece of the puzzle. And what uh, NVVM does, Ingenious uh, Voice and Video Manager, what it does is slice through all of the impairments uh, that might impact uh, our experience as users of voice and video to focus on just those pieces of the, of the network layer or of the uh, application layer so that troubleshooters, uh, operations level engineers, can uh, isolate and eliminate those, the sources of those trouble. So in this case, I can, I've already filtered through my traffic to identify conference calls. I've identified a problem with voice level. Let me uh, drill into this. Uh, to get to the, the, the heart of the matter. And I can see that I've got two sites that are uh, sources of voice level issues. The first is a site in Reading. So my Microsoft OCS or Microsoft Link users in Reading, 100% of the time have a voice level issue. And so let's take a look at that. I can identify the streams that exhibit this behavior. These streams, when I say stream, I mean half of a conversation. So any, any conversation is composed of a back and forth. And in this case, I can see I've got a couple uh, conversations with this problem. And in a simplified network view, I can see that my MCU, my, me uh, my media conferencing unit, my bridge, is the source of a voice level problem that affects my uh, Reading location. So what I've identified then is something that's a bit more systemic than, I, at, first I, than, than I, at first I thought. I thought it was just a Reading problem. Instead, if I've got a voice level problem at my conference bridge, it's going to affect everyone who interfaces with that bridge. And so uh, this allows me to see within a, a few clicks why I've got trouble and where I've got trouble so that an operations level engineer can, can find that, eliminate that, modify the configuration of the bridge, and get back to healthy performance. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.